This is Vincent Easley with a call to record to Governor Michael L. Parson of Missouri asking for uh, relief and pardon for Jeffrey Winehouse, prisoner number 126178. Uh, yes, ma'am. My name is Vincent Easley, and I was calling to ask the governor to intervene and uh, perhaps get on with this pardon for Jeffrey Winehouse, who is, uh, okay. yes, ma'am, wrongly uh, convicted and has, you know, video evidence to show is, is, as well as a lot more supporting evidence of the uh, officer that killed him or shot him and tried to kill him. So I, I'm wondering what steps we could take to... Uh, See if we can't move this along. Well, I can certainly put that on the governor's report that you're requesting that. Yes, ma'am. All right. I will do that. Uh, so, can I, is there a follow-up we can do? Um, you can check back. I mean, the governor will not let us know. I mean, he's trying to review some files uh, monthly. Mm-hmm. Um, can, can I leave my... Uh, my name and number and address and information, email. For what? For uh, the governor's response. Well, I mean, the only response that we have is that, he, you know, we do not have a timeline of when he will re review that particular file. Is there a, a certain procedure, uh, any type of filing, uh, email address or a form that could be uh, handwritten and mailed? Yeah, you can go, uh, you can handwrite one and send it in and we'll give it to our legal team to include in this file. Okay. Uh, no forms or anything like that as far as the uh, the pardon? Because I, I believe a man has already filed for that for him and, and he has a lawyer working the case. Uh, I, I understand too that Governor uh, Parson is his, uh, he's pretty backed up and has uh, many, many, many reviews yeah. uh, before him. Yeah, he, but he has been trying to do uh, some pardons monthly as his time allows. And um, I know he inherited the, quite the backlog of files from pre previous administration. Yes, ma'am. Do you have any kind of number on, on how many pardons have gone and, and what the... The rate of review is and how many there are um there i think we had to move offices so all, all that information is in a box somewhere mm -hmm. um, can i have your contact information for where i could uh, when i call back i could speak with you Yeah, I left all that information. Um, he is. Oh, ma'am, ma'am, I'm sorry. You know, when I started, I, I'm recording this, and I meant to tell you at the very beginning. I wanted to make sure that's okay with you. Oh, okay, sure. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Uh, uh, can I, can I have your contact information? Um, you want my name? Yes, ma'am. My name is Holly. Holly. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes. Yeah. And. So maybe I can call back uh, periodically and and see how we're coming along and uh, yeah, write write a fine. letter. Uh, what? How do I address that letter to to the governor and uh, attention to the governor and 
uh, about That's party. Fine. And what I'll also do is put that on a um, weekly report that goes to the governor. Yes, ma'am. Um, Would you like my name for, for the record? Is it Vincent Easley? It is, ma'am. Okay. And I'm, uh, my number is 501-745-7499. And uh, I, I live down by Clinton, Arkansas, 416 Fawn Bluff, 72031. Uh oh, looks like we got cut off. Okay, well, as it is, <clears throat> I should call her back just to tell her. Uh, I didn't hang up on her. Let's do that. That number is 573 area code 7. You're calling the constituent helpline. If you are calling regarding an unemployment claim, 573 area code 751 3222. Governor Michael L. Parson.